Hi Aries, it's a general reading for the sign of Aries. This could resonate with anyone who has Aries strongly in their chart, um, but it may not fit with you at all. So it's just up to your own discernment if this is a reading um, that will make sense to you or not. Um, my beautiful friends, I welcome you into this space just as you are. I'm grateful that you're here and um, it is a joy to have you. Let's go ahead and look to see um, what is here for you in the current energy, in the current energy for Aries, current energy for Aries. Current energy for the sign of Aries. Current energy for the sign of Aries. Just need to get through the whole deck. Current energy for the sign of Aries. All right, let's look at what the next incoming wave of energy is. The next wave of energy, the next immediate future that Aries will be stepping into. The next immediate future that Aries will be stepping into. Next couple of weeks, the next three weeks, next 10 days, however fast you're moving, Aries. However fast you're moving. Next wave that Aries will be stepping into. Next wave of energy that Aries will be stepping into. wave of energy that Aries will be stepping into. There we go. Okay. All right, and guidance for the sign of Aries, please. Guidance for Aries, please. Guidance for Aries, please. get started. Let's see what's here for you in the current energy. So this will help you um, to realize or to determine if this is a story that might fit for you this week um, by the energies that are here. So we have the three of pentacles coming out. We have the six of cups coming out. We have the ten of pentacles here. And we have the three of swords. Give me more information on the Three of Swords, please. More information on the Three of Swords, please. More information on the Three of Swords, please. So we have a group of you that are working really hard on building something. This that you're building, whether it's a relationship, a new business, a new product, a new service, is um, has already began. It's already started. It's already something that you can experience. It's at the early stages. So you have created something here um, that you can see, that you can touch, that you can feel, and that you feel um, is quite promising for the future. Um, we do have the Six of Cups energies next to it, which is an energy of familiarity, energy of a deep sense of um, connection. Um, it could be with a community. Um, it could be something that you're doing within a community, within a family, um, with with a soul partner with the, with the Six of Cups. Um, it is a nostalgic feeling. It does have something um, that feels very, I mean... I hate to use a term because it's kind of a silly way of saying it, but it's it's kind of a warm and fuzzy kind of feeling. Um, so it does have to do with family or legacy or the name, the name of a community, the who you are, um, what is runs through your blood, what is part of your DNA, um, what is part of your destiny. It's something that's deep. It's something that penetrates deep within the heart and within the soul. Um, so whatever that whatever it is that you're working on is something quite. Um, it's in the beginning stages, but it's also something that affects you in a very deep emotional way. Um, it does have something to do with your comfort, um, with your, 
financial health, uh, financial wealth. Um, it's something that you feel very abundant about. You do have the Ten of Pentacles here. So with the Ten of Pentacles here right now, this tells me that you're feeling um, this energy of vitality. You're feeling an energy of comfort. Um, you're feeling an energy of financial stability. It is a good energy that you're in. Um, you are focusing now on the bigger picture of your wealth. You're focusing on now building more, accumulating more, having more success, building this into something that's bigger, that's greater, that's more effective, that is longer lasting. So it's an energy of elasticity and pulling out the energy of the Three of Pentacles, pulling it out, using this energy of the Six of Cups, this energy of soul connection, the energy of deep deep connectiveness and pulling these two energies, the three of pentacles and the six of cups, using the combination of those energies and building something here that's quite long-term, quite stable, quite um, significant. It's a legacy that you're working on right now with this group of Aries. We do have the three of swords here. And when I went to clarify the three of swords, we have the high priestess energy mixed with the king of pentacles. So, the, there's something here that is part of the story for you, and it's a deep sadness. It's a deep wounding. It's something that you have used. It's a tool. It's an experience. It's a lifestyle in the past. It's a lifestyle that's in your awareness in the moment that you have used um, to connect to the divine, to build your self-worth to build who you are, um, to create this high priestess energy, where that whether you are a man or a woman, it does not matter. What we're talking about is someone here in the internal sense, within the heart, within the soul, and within the mind, who has a deep connectedness to the divine, a deep knowing of one's inner wisdom, someone who can manage the words that they say, they can manage the secrets that they hold. Um, it's a very strong internal being, um, internal beingness, that this person is is feeling right now. And this beingness, this sense of presence has been built by pain. It has been built by the wounding of the heart, by the confusion of the mental capacities, right? It's It's been built by struggle. Um, it is the treasure that we find within struggle. Um, it is also the focus of creating um, a firm financial picture for yourself. And when I say picture, I mean a whole puzzle picture. It's, it's a, it's the whole puzzle that has been put together so that you can see, um, where all the details in your life meet, where everything meets and connects and builds a healthy profit and loss statement, a healthy balance sheet, a healthy portfolio book of what is yours? What are your assets and liabilities? What is your, um, property? What is your home? What is your bank account? What is it? What what brings this Ten of Pentacles to you? This comfort, this financial abundance, this stability. What? How has it been created? It's because you have been um, very much focused on um, internal health and also your external wealth. Um, and it's been driven by this deep, um, these deep and profound lessons that you've experienced in your life. Now, there could be also here um, a king of pentacles in this story, which is a Taurus, Virgo, um, or Capricorn, a man or woman. This is a person or this was a person who spent um, a lot of their time focused on the portfolio, the property, the money, the abundance. This could have been a CEO. This could have been um, a a um, someone who works with money, a financial guru, or or someone that was just very adept at moving money, at making money, focusing on money. Um, but the drive of this person was to find um, this this comfortable lifestyle, this firm financial foundation, um, financial abundance, because this person is motivated by stability. It's motivated by creating a firm platform in which to um, sit safely and secure, securely on. Um, this is a person who um, would prefer to build the wealth and then spend the wealth, you know, build the wealth first and then enjoy the wealth. But but without the the stability of the wealth first, it's very hard for this person to relax and to let go. When we look at the high priestess energy, this is a person who, um, if this is somebody in your background um, that's part of the story, this is a high priestess energy, somebody who could have been secretive, somebody who was very highly connected, very spiritual, 
um, very much in tune with their own desires. And um, if this high priestess is in the reverse, this can be a very manipulative person, somebody that could be quite damaging, knowing how to um, really manipulate situations um, by the information that they share or that they don't share. Um, so you could have had some kinds of experiences with these types of individuals in your past. Nevertheless, um, these energies are here and they are part of the story. Whether they are a positive part of the story or a negative part of the story, they are indeed an important, a vital part of the story. So that's where you are right now. So this is this group of people. Beautiful energies, very strong. On, on a, it, it seems at this point on a very strong project, projection towards success. Um, I love this energy. And I love how, the contrast here. Um, what's holding this together? What's motivating what, this? What's inspiring this? What initiated this? Is this Three of Swords energy? Okay, let's look at what's coming in or what um, Aries is stepping into in the in the near in the immediate future here what is aries stepping into in the immediate future seven of wands ten of swords we have two tens now so far ace of swords seven of pentacles Page of Pentacles, Justice Energy, Six of Wands. Well, you're moving into a period of time of self-representation. Um, you are um, beginning to see here, see how this is rotating clockwise here? You're beginning to see real um, increases in profit. Um, you're beginning to see tangible um, improvements in revenue, or you're receiving messages that are very significant. Um, not very significant. Well, there are messages. So there are messages that are very significant. Um, but but it's not like you're seeing a great new newness to this. It's something that you're building on. It's something that you're working towards. You you could be representing something. You could have a presentation that you are representing. Um, there could be something that you're creating a marketing plan for. Um, you're in the energy of expression and of self representation of self advocacy. You're you are having to now express what you're doing or show what you're doing. You could be defending what you're doing. You could be in some kind of competitive place, competitive um, marketplace, or you could be out um, in um, some kind of commission-related um, energy. Whatever this is, you are, you are standing tall and defending yourself here, advocating for yourself. Um, whether it's for yourself or this business idea or this or this relationship, you are in a defensive stance. You are in a proactive stance. You well what? Defensive, proactive, or different energies. You're, whatever this is, you're standing out in front of what you hold dear. Okay, so if it is a business idea, or if it's a new product, or if it's a new relationship, you're standing in front of it. Um, you're not twisting it. You're not hiding behind it. You're not running away. You aren't um, changing it. You're standing in front of it as it is and saying, this is what I am representing, this is what I believe in, and this is what my cause is. Um, and you're seeing some kind of messages come in, small improvements here that are signaling that this indeed, here we have the Ten of Swords, and then we have the um, Ace of Swords beginning to come in. So this, in the next few weeks here, you're going to start to see real changes with this Three of Pentacles, something that you've already started here. Something that you've already started with the Three of Pentacles, you're going to begin. You're going to begin to see it. Um, continue on that journey. Continue forward here um, in an expansion. Continuing the trajectory that it has already been on. Um, we have the Ten of Swords here, which talks about an ending to a very painful period of time. Um, so you are indeed at the ending of something. So as the Three of Pentacles starts to build and grow and expand, you really will see the falling off of some old period of time, some old cycle um, that was quite destructive in your life. And we do see here the Ace of Swords beginning to come in. So we're seeing it. We're seeing it happen. It has a. It it, it has to revolve around here. 
and come in, but we do see that this energy is here, and we do see that it's going to um, be some kind of new cycle, new victory, new idea, new success here with the Ace of Swords. So we are seeing in the next few weeks uh, the ending of a cycle and the true beginning of something new here with the Ace of Swords. Um, so it does look like um, maybe this is happening before you have... Sometimes we do need evidence. I mean, I know that I do need evidence a lot of times when I'm going through a change. Um, sometimes I don't quite believe it because the Ace of Swords is about belief. It's about um, mentality. It's about your belief system, your mental thoughts, um, your understanding, uh, your um, ideas. And sometimes we do need to see things build and grow uh, before we have a finality or before we can accept it, before we can close the door. Uh, sometimes we do need to see evidence of it. And I think it's the evidence here that you're beginning to see that allows you to finally close the door on what has been like a very painful, very disturbing, very long-term kind of situation here. Um, and we do see something new coming in. And this is the justice energy here. We have justice right over the top of the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Swords. So um, I do think that in the next few weeks here, however long, however fast you're moving, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna begin to see um, a real difference in your life, a real difference in this experience, um, something really equaling out. And I think for many of you, this is your general experience around whatever this is. So if this is a new business idea or a new product that you're, um, presenting or a new relationship that you're in, you're going to really start to see um, a reckoning, a reckoning, uh, um, a equalizing, um, some new victories coming in here that really cement this in for you, that really allow you to settle into this new, to settle into this new role, to settle into this new relationship or this new job and really accept it and start to live in it in, in actuality, in in every fiber of your being because what i'm seeing here is the proof is in the pudding the proof is in the pudding kind of a thing here with the ace of swords yeah there's some kind of evidence that's coming in here for you currently this evidence here is going to help you end a cycle um, and it's going to give you a lot more strength in which to stand in front of it because you're going to be actually seeing evidence so whatever this is, people are not only talking the talk, but they're walking the walk. And it's this evidence that helps you cement this in and settle in this, into this for the long haul. We do have the Seven of Pentacles here with the Six of Wands. So this tells me that you're really kind of settling in. You're beginning to put the work in. You're beginning to invest in this. Um, Seven of Pentacles is, is, a, is a nice number. It's not the three. It's not the four. It's not the five. It's not the six. It's a Seven of Pentacles. So... Um, you're getting very close to the Ten of Pentacles here again. Um, so I, I do think whatever this is, it has a lot of potential here for you. Um, and you're willing to put the work in and you're willing to invest in this because when you have the Seven of Pentacles, it's an energy of waiting, investing, watching, watching something grow. It, it's, a, it's kind of a waiting energy. But as you wait and as you work, you march forward here, standing tall above the crowd, um, accepting this, riding forward in this. Um, you could be accepting additional responsibility in the next couple couple of weeks or stepping out into the community in some way, maybe presenting this to the community or showing this off to the community or stepping out as a couple into the community. Whatever you're doing, people are seeing you and they are respecting you. And it's something that you could, for many of you, this is something that you could actually win, win an award with or win accolades with, earn a promotion, um, get a get a bonus, make a lot of money from um, again, it's connected here with the Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. So there is a victory kind of energy here um, that you're kind of putting on your shoulders and saying, I'm going to run with this. I'm going to run with this and see where this takes me because I really do feel like it could be um, something that it will be very fruitful for me to spend my time and energy with. Um, it's a grounded energy too. The Seven of Pentacles is a very grounded energy. There's a lot of balance here. Justice is an energy of balance. And Six of Wands is an energy of balanced passion. Page of Pentacles is a balanced energy. Ace of Swords is a very balanced energy. Even the Pentacles here on the Seven of Pentacles, see how the Pentacles are kind of balanced? It's a balanced energy. So that's good. I, I really feel like as you're ending out this old pattern, 
Um, you're really starting to see victory in your life now, and um, you're finding new balance, you're, you're gaining new confidence, and you're willing to put the work in. You're willing to step into this just a little bit deeper here and commit to this and ride forward um, out in a different way so that people can see what you're doing or who you are, what you stand for, what you represent, and you're doing it unapologetically. You're doing it um, confidently, and this is something that's inspiring for people to see, and I think you earn you earn a lot of respect doing this. So let's see here what the guidance is for Aries. What is the guidance for Aries? Transformation, Scorpio. Page of Cups, Inspiration. Ace of Wands, beautiful. So there has definitely been a transformation here. Um, something has had to come to an end, and while you might have you know, cuts and bruises, and you might be different, completely different than you were before. Um, you are now entering into a period of inspiration here. You have some kind of soul connection. You're working on something that brings you a lot of um, enjoyment, a lot of emotional fulfillment. There's something here that you're really feeling very passionate about. Um, it could be something that you're doing within the community or for the world or for a certain people. Um, could be something that you're doing with a soulmate or a soul connection for a family. Um, it's something that really is deep within you. It's, it's in your DNA. It's part of your soul. It's part of your path. And it inspires you. It warms your heart. It is something that um, it, it is. It's the Six of Cups energy that I'm in. It's this, these energies here working on something that you feel is very, has a very promising future. And it's something that really it, it flows deeply within you. It flows deeply within you. And then we have the Ace of Wands, new passionate action, new chemistry, new acts that you're taking, new actions that you're making. Something new is here, and it's not just a new idea. You're taking action now. You're on the move, and that feels really good, Aries, to be moving um, in the energy that you are made to, to create in. Uh, this could be a very creative adventure. It could be very influential. Um, you could be out in the public eye. Um, you could have some kind of new performance or new presentation, um, but you're definitely taking this passion and action, and you are born to work in this way, Aries. You are born to carry the torch in this way. This is something that has filled your heart, that has inspired you. It comes after a period of darkness, a period of long-term um, hurtfulness and anxiety. It's something that you have worked hard to change around, and you are seeing, seeing now the results of your hard work, the, the fruits of your labor, and it is inspiring and it is passionate. So there could be a, a brand new relationship here. There could be a revitalization of a relationship. There could be a new business venture, a new job, a new occupation, a new child even. Um, whatever this is, it could be a community that has solved um, an issue, um, whether it is homelessness or whether it is um, factions fighting each other, or um, long-term war in your community, um, it, whatever this is, sometimes we lose track, especially those of us who live um, in, in rich places, like I live in the United States, and as much as we can feel like we're poor, we actually are not poor, so many of us, and we can forget that there are people in the world that have been in long-term battles that are struggling every day um, to live another day, to overcome deep um, wounding to overcome the loss of people in their family um, that live in fear, that have been living in war for many generations. And um, we can forget um, how sometimes these energies could um, be stories for them as well. And so for all of you that are um, have been through some sort of major transformation in your life where there has actually even been death or destruction, um, whatever this is, you are revitalizing, you are coming out um, of this situation with something so profound, with something so beautiful, so strong, and so inspiring that I am just honored to be able to do this reading today, Aries. I truly am. Um, so there is some some sort of major um, new action that you're going to be taking. And sometimes when I get in these energies, I can get kind of 
Um, I think especially in the fire energy, I am Aquarius. I have a lot of Aquarius. And so I can really fly around in your energy. So sometimes it can be sound dramatic. But for some of you here over the next couple of weeks, you are um, moving forward in a very inspired way. You're taking new action now. You have some new kind of opportunity or you're taking new action that you feel very inspired by. And um, I just commend you for your hard work. I commend you for your strength, for the fire that is within you. Um, for the inspirational movements that you make in your life. You lift um, so many people who can watch you and see you um, and um, maybe even have the strength then um, to move forward in their own way to do this in their own lives. So thank you very much for all your all of your work. And I look forward to connecting in with this energy from time to time as we go out, we go on forward through the year. All right. Thank you very much, Aries. Now I'm going to move, I'm going to take a short break and then I'm going to move into the extended. And in the extended, I definitely want to look um, into the six of cups energy and the three of pentacles energy. And I want to look at this page of cups here. I want to look at this page of cups to see what this is in this ace of wands. So I'm going to look at these four energies in the extended. I'm going to look deeper into these energies. And then I'm going to look at the people who are around you and that and their intentions for the future. Um, so for those of you that are really resonating with this me message, feel free to move on to the extended um, if you would like more information. For the rest of you, I'm so happy that you were here. Um, and I look forward to connecting to you um, in another week or so with another update. And maybe it'll be for you too. Who knows? So, all right. Thank you very much. I wish you the best of weeks and a beautiful beginning to the year 2020. Thank you.